Hi friends, it's Monica and so far these are my favorite books in 2023. I'm so shocked that we're already in May and it's almost to the halfway point of the year. But I'm so excited to discuss about the books that I have been really enjoying and loving since the beginning of the year. I did select 5 books for this video and they are not in any particular order so let's just jump right in. First up is an adult dark academia book and it is Hellbend by Leigh Bardugo. This is the sequel to Ninth House and this was a long awaited sequel. We waited 3 years for this one and I absolutely loved it. We're following Alex Stern in her world of where she could see and hear ghosts and coming from a rough childhood, she gets a life-saving offer from Yale University in order to oversee their secret society's weird dark rituals. I remember Ninth House book 1 was very very intense and Hellbent continues on that same trend. And I would say getting into Hellbent as a second book in the series, it was a way more smoother journey compared to Ninth House. The world itself felt more solid and grounded and we see how Alex's abilities gives her a certain edge in this world and we also learn more about the different magics. Alex takes on more of a leadership role and she still is protecting all her dear friends to her. We have Dawes who's like the mother hen and very smart scholar. We have Turner who is a reluctant detective being roped into weird rituals. And we have Darlington who is dealing with a very much darker side of himself. At some point in this book, it really did feel I was watching Supernatural where a group of friends come together and hunt down monsters. It really did give that really fun group dynamics and I'm really interested to see where we go off from the end of Hellbent and hopefully we don't have to wait too long for book 3. Next up is an adult high fantasy book and this world is quite vibrant and has a very unique magical system and I'm talking about Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson. This is one that I recently just read but it really blew my expectations out of the water. In this world, God's rule and magic is deeply integrated into its society. There's also this concept known as breath, which is essentially a person's soul or life force. People can collect other people's breaths in order to gain power. Admittedly, there's also use of colors and a lot of other factors go into this magical system, but by the end of the book, I got the hang of it. The characters, of course, are the strongest point in this book and I absolutely love them. We're following two sister princesses and one of them is set to be sent off to marry the god king. But a last minute decision changes which sister is sent off. Siri and Vibana are complete opposites and I really liked seeing them learn to assert themselves in new situations and having their personalities kind of switch by the end of the book and it was nice to see their journeys. I also loved Light Song who is a reluctant god and who questions his divinity and Vasher who is a mysterious lonesome figure with a talking magical sword. By the end of this book, you really do see the connections to the other Cosmere books, other Brendan Sanderson books and to his other worlds and it's really nice to have those easter eggs and to have those puzzle pieces click in place into your mind and it's very satisfying but I'm very excited to see where other brightness and Sanderson books will go on from here. Then I enjoyed a adult rom-com and this was Happy Place by Emily Henry. In this new romance by Emily Henry, we are following a longtime couple, Harriet and Wynne. When this couple goes on their annual friend vacation, they have to keep up appearances because they have actually been broken up for months. And there is a lot of tension and a lot of nice moments between these two. One of the best parts for this book for me was to figure out why Harriet and Wynne decided to break up in the first place and where that came from. and of course, why they decided not to tell their friends in the first place. It turns out that both Harry and Wynne have some major personal growth that they need to do and they do work out some of their issues and that it comes with a lot of ups and downs. But I do think one of the better lessons in this romance book is that it's okay to trust yourself despite your fears and worries within your heart and just trust that you can come out of any situation on the better end 
So I did really like that lesson and I also love the found family aspect within this friend group. And Happy Place is, I would say, my second favorite Emily Henry book now after Beach Read. And I do hope that more Emily Henry books will continue to go on like this type of trajectory for me. Next, I really loved the finale to a fantasy series and this was the last and final book in the Greenwald Saga series which is Jade Legacy by Fonda Lee. This entire trailer is so explosive with politics, war, and familial conflicts. If you haven't heard about this series before, I do have a full series review up for this entire trilogy. But Jade City, the first book, we are following two crime syndicates who control the island of Kit Khan. More specifically, we're following the Call family clan and within this clan, they have green bones among their ranks. Green bones are warriors who wear jade that grants them superhuman abilities. And within these two clans, there are rising tensions and that might just lead to a clan war. What I thought about the last book, Jade Legacy, is that we are on a longer timeline with our characters. We follow them throughout many years and we do get like little snippets into the most important parts. With that, I did enjoy seeing how our characters' journeys end, but I was hoping that we could have gotten more fleshing out of certain important events that we do get glimpses into. I also really love the exploration of what it actually means to be green bone within the clan and also in the wider world. And I love the emphasis on seeking viable lessons that can only be learned when you go out into the world on your own and see for yourself because it's different when someone tells you about something and then compared to how you yourself can experience whatever. Ultimately, it was a very very satisfying conclusion but very bittersweet because I love this world and the character so much. The next two books, I'm kind of cheating here, but they're both part of the same series, the Stormlight Archive series by Brandon Sederson. I read book two, Words of Radiance, and book three, Oathbringer, since the beginning of this year and I absolutely love both of them. We're set on the world of Roshar where the landscape is brutal with its weather, wars, and politics. Way back in book one, we find out about an ancient order known as the Knights Radiant who fell. And the only thing that remains of them is their magical shard blades and shard plate which gives men a new way to wage their ongoing wars. Both of these books continue to build upon book one and upon each other. And we get to see how our characters' journeys, the world building, and the various intricate storylines are weaved together in a really amazing way. There are a lot of moving parts in this book and that requires you to pay a little bit more attention, but the characters and their stories make it all the worthwhile. I won't dive too much into these two books because they are very expansive and I just recommend you to check them out yourselves. And if you do love complex and intricate storytelling with amazing characters, I truly recommend you to pick up The Way of Kings, the first book in the series. And I can't wait to tackle Rhythm of War ASAP. Those were all the books that I love this year and I'm quite sure that I will continue to find books that I love and hopefully I do because so far these past few months I've been reading kind of mediocre books so I'm hoping to have like more five star reads coming on to the last half of this year. Comment down below what are your favorite books so far of this year and I also do want to say thank you so much for stopping by and I hope you can give me a huge thumbs up and that subscribe button down below and don't forget to ring the notification bell to not miss any future uploads and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye!